Lake Villasby, southeast of the Twin Cities, is popular for boating, fishing, and swimming. However, the lake suffers from excess nutrient levels that fuel algal blooms. Farm runoff is one source of those nutrient levels. Near Northfield, David Legvold farms land that drains to small creeks. These small creeks feed the Cannon River and ultimately Lake Billisby. He is studying fertilizer rates on his farm to identify the optimal amounts that yield profits for him without hurting waters downstream. Many of my farmer colleagues tend to talk about yields, and that's the yardstick by which they judge their success or failure. But I believe that yield is no longer the yardstick. Leaving bushels in the field is not my greatest concern. Leaving dollars in the field is my greatest concern. I believe that if we practice sustainable agriculture, our bottom line is better. I also believe that if we have uh, good data to back up our um, practices, we will find that our conservation is strong, our sustainability is strong, our profitability is also strong. On-farm research can help producers fine-tune their fertilizer use, saving them money and reducing the impact of nutrients on water quality. On my farming operation, I have been fortunate enough to form a, a collaboration with St. Olaf College Science Department, in particular environmental studies students. Most of them are not farm kids, they're city kids, but they're vitally interested in what's going on in Minnesota farms. They have come to do nitrate utilization research. And what they are uh, working on is soil nitrate presence, my fertilization techniques, and then at the end of the season, they do corn stalk nitrate evaluations to see if my nitrate was on target, if I was low, or if I put on too much. Then once in a while, we deliberately stack the deck in favor of skewing the results. So we'll put on um, not enough fertilizer, we'll put on too much fertilizer, and we'll put on the correct amount, and then assess the yields. And that gives us an opportunity to define where that line is when you are stepping from maximum profitability to perhaps maximum yield, but diminished profitability. With profits and water protection in mind, David Legvold turned to on-farm research for answers on how to apply fertilizer without hurting downstream waters. The proof has to be in the pudding. So what I do is to start the season by utilizing the Iowa State N calculator as a guideline to give me a target to shoot at. What that online software does is to provide the target rate, the best management practices rate that I will try to uh, use for my nitrate program. But it has allowed me to hit the BMP uh, rate pretty accurately and it has also um, provided me with maximum profitability because I found over four years that if I use the BMP rate, I also achieve maximum profitability.